great. So when you get on the elevators to the third floor from parking and pulling in, it brings you up to this level here, which is very nice. It has some nice seating areas. And then if you just come out of the elevator and turn left, that's actually where you check in. So this is the check-in here on the third floor. You come up the elevators on that side, walk into check-in, and then you keep going around here. And then this is where you scan your key card to get on the elevators up to your room. Okay, so I just checked in. Check-in was great. They were very kind and really nice check-in. Um, the lady who checked me and took me to the elevator and then one of the butlers got in and rode with me up to my level. I'm now on the eighth floor and let me tell you, this hotel just feels very, very luxurious. The hallways, the rooms. I haven't been in the rooms yet, but I can just sense that they're gonna be amazing. Okay, so we're up on the eighth floor. Here's the room, 19. I'm about ready to go inside. Okay, so now we're in the room. So the door is right behind me here. Just came in the room, and as soon as you come in the room, you can see this is a uh, big suite. So this is actually the luxurious luxury suite. It's the highest upgrade you can get for a Marriott Bonvoy Elite member. With my Titanium Elite status, it came in really handy to get that upgrade. Um, you have a little closet here for some storage, and then um, on the other side of the walk-in, you have this uh, first little bathroom with a nice sink, mirror, a toilet so that's your first like little nook now as we walk into the main room here this is the part that is the suite and it is pretty sweet it is very spacious very big there's the entry door huge couch big tv and the view out here just looks amazing look at that view wow this is actually one of the very most expensive hotels in Mexico. Very fortunate to get to stay here. Over here we have complimentary little coffees and we do have an espresso, an espresso machine, which is really, really good because that is high end. And I think every high end hotel should have one of those. These are all complimentary. Now these are for purchase. It's like more of the mini bar or not mini bar, but like snacks and stuff. And then down below we do have like a mini bar. It's some drinks for purchase, things in there. And it looks like we have a little sink here, I guess, and some storage. It's very nice. Got a whole kitchen table here to eat at. If you have food or you want to eat, that's there. Got some St. Regis amenities here, nice lamp. Very, very spacious setup. Okay, now we're coming into the master suite here in our luxury suite room at the St. Regis, Mexico City. Very big king size bed. And right in front of the bed is a big flat screen TV, direct view, which is very nice. Those floor to ceiling windows continue all the way from the other room into here with beautiful views. We have our little touch screen thing over here, which allows you to operate the lights as well as the order things or look up hotel information. And it actually has extensions for your butler you can contact them. You can do your room control here, which is you can set your climate. You can even do your lighting or put that you want your room made up with housekeeping. You have the directory, you have an alarm clock, all on this little thing here next to your bed. So that's really, really cool. It looks like this is like, I'm not sure what's in here, but this looks neat. Earplugs, oh, that's a nice touch. So that is very, very nice. Now, if we kind of turn around and we look over here, we have two separate closet spaces before we head into the bathroom. On both sides here, uh, the safe is down there, as well as um, some places to hang things here, as well as some closet storage space. We have a little sitting area over here in the bedroom suite. The room is so spacious, you've got so much room that they added a little seating area. And then over here, we've got more space with more hangers. We have an umbrella, coat racks, a lot going on. Now let's head into the main bathroom. This does close off from the room. This is a little bit see-through here, but very nice touch. Right away, we've got actually two separate sinks. Both look the same, but this sink has a unique feature in that it actually has a TV built into the mirror. So I'm gonna turn that on in a second. We've got a live rose, which is very cool. 
little bit of bottles of water, and all the amenities you could ever want, ask, think, or need. So there's that TV turning on just like that. Pretty cool. Here's the other sink on this side, so you can have two separate people getting ready. Now as we come in here, we have the toilet room on this side, and then we have the shower room on this side. The toilet is its own special area. I love the uh, tiling in the back. That's just really unique, really cool. And it goes all the way up to the ceiling. There's a huge tub over here. All kinds of amenities with the also bigger tiles that go all the way up to the ceiling, the floor, just every spot of this bathroom is just beautiful. Now the shower's a little bit darker. It only has this one light down here, but that's due in part to this is a very special sauna a shower. It's also a steam room. It has a control thing here that you can turn on and you can actually, it puts out steam while you're in the shower or even if the shower is off, and it gets the whole thing steamy and really, really warm. Uh, so that is a really cool feature in there, but just really relaxing. Okay, so overall, I'm really, really impressed with our room here and our suite. As you can see from our master bedroom, even to in here, we just have so much space, so much amazing room. It has been so friendly, all the butlers that have come to the room to bring us our tea, bring us the bed. Everyone has been so friendly, kind, accommodating. I'm so excited for breakfast in the morning and to show you that. Okay, so my butler brought me some cookies and tea and I asked for some honey too, but anyway, that's awesome. That's the better roll away bed since there'll be three of us in here. So that came really quick. But one of the other butlers took a long time explaining everything to me and showing me the view out the window in the city and some history. Buffets included with the Titanium Elite membership, and it includes okay. unlimited drinks, including it's coffee, okay. juice, uh, kind of anything you want. And breakfast is amazing. You definitely, if you stay here, you have to have breakfast. This is one of the premier seats at the breakfast. We're right in front of here with the beautiful view of the city. It's kind of like an outdoor terrace area, so it's open windows, fresh breeze coming in. One of the most beautiful breakfasts, probably just below the St. Regis in Venice. But this is probably the next level. I love it. It's very beautiful. Thank you. All right, so this is going into the pool area. You can sign in here, and then this way is the fitness center. Here, which is just beautiful. And this way is the pool. Okay, so here's the cardio area of the fitness center, which is on the other part, but we've got amazing view here if you're on the treadmill, maybe one of the best views I've had, and all kinds of equipment, very spacious area. So, very, very nice. Okay, so they have two fitness center areas. This is one of them, but the most incredible view and all kinds of workout equipment. Okay, so here was the fitness center. Now, right around the corner here, that's the men's locker room, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, here is the men's locker room. Got all the lockers, and then over here, there's actually a place to get ready. Very nice view as well. And then over here, we actually have a sauna and a steam room slash shower over here. And then there's also a toilet room. So very nice spot to kind of get ready before you head to the pool. There's that, and then when we turn the corner is the pool, which looks amazing. And it is an aquarium pool, but has amazing views. If we head up the stairs here, we can also see that on this end of the pool, there's two 
hot tubs. You can go in and look, you can swim right to the edge here and look out at this incredible view. Okay, so one of the really cool things about this hotel as well is they have a whole area just for the little kids to come to and it's included with your room. So if you're bringing your little kids along, they actually will have a play area that they can come to with all kinds of games, slides, even a little Tesla vehicle they can ride in. But this is a really cool hotel that they have something like this just for the children. Okay, currently just got an exclusive tour of the Astor Suite. This is the big living room area here, but I wanted to go ahead and give the feedback and review of the St. Regis, Mexico City. So to go ahead and start off, I'm gonna go ahead and give the room five out of five. Everything about the room was flawless. We had a luxury suite and then we had an executive suite, just a little bit smaller than this, uh, but they were both amazing. Clean, beautiful, flawless, very luxurious. The showers were amazing and the steam room in the shower. Room definitely five out of five. Next up, we're gonna do service. Service is also gonna get a five out of five. Every staff member has went above and beyond to accommodate us, our butlers from breakfast, uh, with my special treat at breakfast as well. Just every staff member we've encountered from the front desk, everyone has been so friendly and accommodating. They're sure to treat you well if you stay here. Next up, I'm gonna do Inspiration. Inspiration is gonna get a 4.5 out of five. While the hotel is extremely, extremely luxurious and nice, some features, I feel like just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit dated in the rooms, just a slight bit to take that down a half a point. Um, but otherwise, it is still a very, very nice hotel that I would come back to. Finally, value, five out of five. Uh, how much do I personally value this property? And if I were to come back, yes, I'll definitely come back. Definitely five out of five. When you stay here, you know what you can expect. Uh, Five-star treatment, personalized service, amazing food, very attentive staff, and the butlers that bring you all the tea that you ever want or need, uh, coffees, just everything about this hotel just is very luxurious, very nice, definitely five out of five. So overall, very, very good score, 19.5 out of 20, which is incredibly good. Uh, almost a perfect score here. I'm really excited because next up, we're actually gonna be checking in to the brand new Ritz-Carlton Mexico City that just opened. So I wanted to review this hotel and that one. So next up, we're gonna be heading over there to check in.